morning. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Friday morning as we gather to celebrate the opening of our newest Wellbe Health Pace program, LA Coast Pace. My name is Sofia Gail Valenzuela, and I'm the regional vice president here at Wellbe Health and also the executive director of this new program. We appreciate that you joined us remotely by video today. Obviously, under normal circumstances, we would have hosted you here in person to celebrate in an open house type of affair with live music, great food, testimony, and person connectedness. But we all recognize that they are not quite normal times. However, it's important to pause and commemorate moments in time that have meaning and that are significant. The opening of LA Coast Pace in the middle of a pandemic is meaningful because Pace touches the lives of seniors in a way that truly is amazing. So thank you for being here with us via live stream. For those of you who aren't familiar with Wellbe Health, we operate a program called Pace, which stands for Program All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly. Pace is a Medicare and Medicaid program that was first pioneered over 40 years ago in San Francisco. And it's built on the philosophy that it's best for seniors to be served with care that they need in their own homes and in their communities, rather than an institutional setting such as a nursing home. I had the privilege to study the PACE model as a young college student in Berkeley. And I was amazed to learn about coordinated and integrated healthcare. In 1987, I don't really think I understood what integrated healthcare is or was, but from what I read and from what I have served for 19 years in the field of senior care, I believe PACE is absolutely a revolutionary model of care for the most frail and vulnerable senior. This pandemic has really shed new light on the importance of the PACE vision. We've seen nursing homes in particular very tragically hit by COVID-19 outbreaks. And our company felt strong that in spite of the difficulties of opening a new program in this environment, it was imperative for us now more than ever to protect seniors and offer the pace to the community. Our programs rapidly shifted from a day center home-based model of care, and now we're delivering comprehensive medical and social care remotely in people's homes. Wellbe Health opened its first PACE program last year in January of 2019 to serve the Stockton Modesto area. Six months later, we opened our second PACE program called Pacific PACE and it's serving the communities of Pasadena, Glendale, Burbank, and neighborhood areas. This is our third program, and we're proud to be here in the city of Long Beach. We will be serving seniors from the South Bay to the West Side, Artesia to Cerritos, Carson to Torrance, Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, El Segundo, Culver City, and my personal favorite, Venice. 90291 is where I live, and I'm proud to live and work in the same community. We're ready to serve neighborhoods, and we're excited to be here today as we open our new program. We have a delightful morning planned for you, and I first want to say that we're very sorry that the Long Beach mayor Mayor Robert Garcia is unable to join us today. As many of you know, Mayor Garcia's mother and stepfather were recently hospitalized and are battling coronavirus. They are currently in our thoughts today and we wish all the best to Mayor Garcia and his family. We're very honored to be joined virtually by California State Senator Lena Gonzalez. Also, State Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell is here today. Our keynote speaker, one of our heroes at Wellbe Health, Jenny Chin Hansen, without whom PACE probably would not exist as we know it today. We look forward to hearing from them shortly. 
So to kick off our program, we're excited to turn it over to Daniel Brezinoff, the Senior Advisor to Mayor Garcia's office. Hi, folks. And thanks for inviting <clears throat> Mayor Garcia. He does regret that he couldn't join us. And thanks for the, the kind words about his folks. And uh, my understanding is that they're, they're doing really well today and, and that the prognosis is good. So, so thanks for keeping him in your thoughts. Uh, and, you know, we, we're just excited to have you in Long Beach and I want to welcome you. And, you know, you spoke to me. Oh, gosh, it's not that long ago, although it seems, of course, lifetimes with so much that has happened. But I think it's probably less than a year ago that we sat down and talked in the first district office. And, uh, you know, with the situation with the, uh, the pandemic and the economic impact, services like PACE provides have only become more important. But I think also so challenging to bring something like this online in this time. And so uh, we're just you know, impressed and, uh, and really grateful that you were able to continue forward on such a good timeline and, and still have this grand opening, uh, even with everything going on. So just thank you so much for your hard work. Thanks for choosing Long Beach. And, and we're glad to serve uh, so many people from the South Bay. And uh, we'll have to decide later if Venice or Long Beach is really the best of all the cities. We'll, we'll pick that conversation up another time. But uh, but thanks for having me here, and uh, I'm very looking forward to hearing from uh, our elected officials, too, this morning. Thanks a lot. I'm clapping to myself because I'm here in this room. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. And it was almost a year ago that we met. It was a special day. It was August 6th, and it happened to be my 25th wedding anniversary. And, and that's an important day because I got to meet you. Um, we're very honored to be in this beautiful city of Long Beach. At this time, I would like to share with you a special video of one of our PACE participants. And this video embodies our PACE program and how it's different from other senior models of care. My name is Bonnie Canary, and this is my Daisy, the love of my life, my friend, my pal, my everything. I fell and broke my pelvic bone. When I was in the hospital at rehab, they told me that they were gonna put Daisy in the animal shelter and they were gonna put her down. When Bonnie called me that morning, you could hear it, the panic in her voice. You could tell that Daisy was her best friend. I didn't care about my health. I didn't care if I got well because I didn't want to go home. I didn't have my friend with me. I instantly called my boss and I said, you know, we need to get her dog for her. When I walked into the hospital room where Bonnie was staying and she saw that I had Daisy, she instantly lit up. I got my strength from that. I was wanting to get well again. I was wanting to come back to my home. I wanted to be able to take her out for her walks and everything. It reminds me of why I became a nurse to begin with just to know that we could be that instrumental in helping somebody get better and stay home. It was the most wonderful thing in the world to be able to have my dog knowing that they cared and got her for me. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. Every time I see it, it warms my heart. WellBe Health was founded by mission-driven physicians to serve our most vulnerable seniors with greater quality and compassion. Our purpose is to unlock the full potential of our most vulnerable seniors. The person you are about to meet is a visionary, truly an inspirational person I met our CEO two years ago when I joined the company, and my life has not been the same ever since. During my conversations with Sai, as well as conversations with WellBe Health executive team members, I realized we have commonality here at WellBe. We have shared intentions. We have a passion to make a difference. And we have a sense of calling to serve those most in need. 
the leader of our pace journey, and the one who reminds us every week to rest, have laughter in our lives, and love is our CEO, Dr. Cy France. He helped to make LA Coast Pace a reality, and I heard stories of this building being dilapidated and ignored, and he had a vision for this property for us to come to Long Beach. So please join me in welcoming Cy to our program. Thank you for joining us. It's so nice to have so many friends, colleagues, and supporters join us this morning for this special event. We are excited and, and honestly very honored to be opening this program to serve frail seniors across you know, from west side to south bay to culver city to manhattan beach torrance and uh, of course right here in long beach our thoughts and prayers are with long beach mayor garcia today uh, you may have seen that he publicly announced his parents were hospitalized with covid 19. you know not many organizations would choose to launch a program in a historic town like this but for Welby, you know, we've never felt a stronger call to action or a stronger sense of purpose to go serve. You see, Welby was founded on this uh, core value, courage to love. We think of courage to love as seeing people through the eyes of their loved ones and valuing every precious life we touch. For, for me, as a father of three daughters, three young daughters, when I see a PACE participant, I think you know, a few years ago, this was someone's precious son or daughter. So how would we care for them if we knew their family was watching down on us, caring for their little girl now that she had grown into an old woman? And having three little girls at home, I think of how precious that is. And we have that consciousness so that we can serve with love and reverence. And we do the same with our team, since we all know you can't give what you don't have. So our team's filled up so that we can fill up our participants. Else has given up. Just recently in Pasadena, our social worker, Ani, displayed this courage to love. She helped one of our participants remain independently living in his home. He was no longer able to keep up his apartment. It had actually become cluttered and, and actually unsafe. So his landlord and even his family had given up and they were ready to move in, him into a nursing home. Instead, Ani coordinated all the services that he needed to stay in his apartment in a clean and safe manner, having no idea the COVID-19 pandemic was about to unfold and that half of all deaths in California would be in nursing home residents. You know, I shudder to think today without Ani's courage to love where he would be perhaps in a nursing home, perhaps exposed to COVID-19. Instead, he's still living in his home safely, and he's still in Welby Health's PACE program in Pasadena, and he's cared for in our pandemic home PACE model with 24-7 high-touch medical care and social services. So through home PACE, we help protect participants from COVID-19 exposure while simultaneously combating social isolation and providing all their medical and care needs. You see, isolation poses serious health risks to seniors. So through remote activities and social events, combined with 24-7 home and remote care, Welby helps seniors stay engaged with their friends and caregivers while being protected from the virus while managing their complex health care. So I'm honored to be on this virtual stage today to celebrate a new era and caring for seniors in Long Beach. We are humbly joining the other organizations who have been serving here in Long Beach for decades and even generations. We thank you for welcoming us with open arms. And I couldn't be prouder of the great work that Sophia and our team have done to launch this program and serve seniors even in the face of challenging times. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Sai. I heard you speak many times and every time you touch my heart because you speak from the heart. 
So I send you and your girls and your family an elbow bump, a virtual hug from Long Beach to Menlo Park. Our next speaker is California State Senator Lena A. Gonzalez, representing the 36th, 33rd District since 2019. Senator Gonzalez is known for her passionate commitment to the community she serves and has spent her career bringing much needed social services to her constituents. Prior to her election to the Senate, she served on the Long Beach City Council from 2014 to 2019. And before that, Lena was employed at Microsoft as a civic engagement manager where she led social impact programs. We are thrilled that Senator Gonzalez can be with us today to celebrate our vision for helping seniors in the community through our LA Coast PACE facility. Welcome, Senator Gonzalez. Hi, everyone, and welcome, and thank you so much. I'm very proud to be here today, and thank you very much for um, all of your work. To all of the organizers, LA Coast PACE, WellBe Health, and of course, the city of Long Beach, my hometown. Really proud to represent Senate District 33. And I'm happy to join all of you today to celebrate the opening of a brand new PACE Center here in, of course, my hometown of Long Beach. Um, I'm glad to welcome this new PACE Center. I'd had the pleasure of, of, of seeing one for myself in the Huntington Park area of my district. Um, but I've just been extremely impressed with their innovative approach to senior care, especially with technology and telehealth and individualized care, especially now as we're facing this unprecedented crisis in our state. The WellBe Health model that PACE uses is very important now more than ever, especially as we need more alternative care, uh, mental health, well-being options, and strong individualized care as mentioned for each of our senior community members. Um, I've also been proud to work with our senior community through my former work as a, as a city council member and now serving as a state senator on the Senate Health Committee as well as a chair of the Pandemic Emergency Committee. I personally stand ready to support PACE and its continued progress to ensure every single senior in California gets their support. So thank you again so much and congratulations. Virtual clap to all of you. Thank you, Senator Gonzalez, for your leadership and for being a strong voice at the state level. Our next speaker was first elected to the California State Assembly in November of 2014. Assemblymember Patrick O'Donnell represents the 70th District. Assemblymember O'Donnell was a classroom teacher for 20 years. And boy, do I appreciate you because I've been doing Zoom school teaching for four months and I can't imagine what 20 years was like, but thank you. You've also served as a member of the Long Beach City Council. Please join me in welcoming Assemblymember O'Donnell. Well, thank you. And really thank you for what you're doing here today. This is actually my first virtual grand opening. So congratulations on uh, giving me that experience and I'm sure many others. Uh, listen, I just wanna thank uh, LA Coast Pace for their mission. Uh, keeping our older folks happy and alive. And I don't mean just alive, but I mean living and being happy, and happy social creatures that we all are. Uh, your mission is critical to many people. It's critical to our society. More of us are getting older. Hey, I'm going to be there one day. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you to the people that work for LA Coast Pace, really the partners and helping our seniors thrive and stay alive. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. You're really caring people. You don't just have, you know, some people have a job, some people have a career, but you have a vocation. So thank you for that. But also thank you for coming to Long Beach. And I know you'll be serving beyond Long Beach for sure, as you do today. But uh, thank you for coming to Long Beach because we need you here. We absolutely need you here. And I can't say how happy I am to participate today, how happy I am to have you a partner in making Long Beach and beyond a better place. And uh, just once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Assembly Member. It's always a pleasure to be in your presence and thank you to your team for supporting us as we went through the licensing process. Earlier, Sai mentioned our shift to remote home-based model of care to help seniors live safely and independently in their home. You may be asking, how does WellBe do that? And so let me show you how do we do that. We do it through this red tablet. This tablet is called the WellBe Link. 
This tablet enables us to communicate daily, sometimes three times a day, with our seniors, their doctors, nurses, social work, and therapists, have regular communication to meet their needs. Our participants have comprehensive medical care because of this tablet right now. We deploy them here to our Center for Dental Care, Physical, Occupational Therapy, and even personal care, such as bathing, grooming, and we offer home-delivered meals. LA Coast PACE is designed around seniors and the people who care for them. It's important to us to alleviate and prevent caregiver burnout while keeping families involved in important decisions about their loved ones. And we have fun via this tablet, as you know, we're having virtual dances, virtual games, bingo, trivia, singing, recreational activities with our team, and we're battling dangerous social isolation that's infecting many people today. To tell you more about our wonderful PACE program and the model of care, I'd like to introduce Jenny Chin Hansen, who is a seasoned healthcare leader and PACE pioneer. Welcome, Jenny. Jenny was appointed as a stakeholder to California's Department of Health and Human Services, where she developed the state's first ever master plan for aging in 2019. Jenny Chin Hansen has received multiple awards, national awards related to long-term care services, including the National Council on Aging Award in 2019. In 2015, PBS, Next Avenue, selected her as one of the nation's top 50 influencers on aging. Welcome, Jenny Chin Hansen. Thank you, Sophia. I appreciate it. I, I'd like to just do a little technical correction here. Uh, I have not been the one to develop the master plan on aging. We, in fact, are in the midst of doing this. There are about 37 other uh, people from around the state who are in the process as a result of our appointment from uh, the governor to take a look at how we can best age as a society within our state in the best way. Needless to say, I have a little bias for you all uh, with the PACE program that you're, oper uh, you're uh, operating and offering right now in Long Beach. So first and foremost, I just wanted to uh, put, put uh, your 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 uh, enthusiastic uh, acknowledgement in a perspective that this is uh, being done as, as we speak and by the end of this calendar year uh, there will be a master plan that the governor will uh, have a chance to address through the uh, secretary of, of health and human services but back to the reason that we're here. I want to congratulate you, Sophia, for your role in doing this and your commitment for nearly 20 years to be in this field of care. And without a doubt, uh, Dr. Sai France, uh, your drive, your passion, your commitment, your recognition of how important uh, this societal work is. You know, there are very few of us, frankly, who are on this um, video uh, connection right now. I see there are nearly 200 of us who haven't been touched by the fact that uh, a loved one, uh, either um, directly our family members or a friend's family member who hasn't gone through the process of the, the last five years, say, of somebody who uh, is living, oftentimes with a, a myriad of different things that they're um, having to uh, deal with. Well, um, next month uh, in August, it turns out it was 40 years ago uh, that I started in San Francisco working with others on the beginnings of what now is called PACE. And um, I can tell you that the pride I have and the joy I have seeing your program open and continue to open and focus on areas oftentimes the older persons who have needs are not as well served. So I congratulate uh, Long Beach for having this opportunity. Many of you probably may not know that even though I was a part of this uh, effort launching, both of my own parents were a part of the PACE program in San Francisco. And my brother, who had a very early uh, Parkinson's impact, was also 
uh, a PACE participant. So um, it's, it's a very, very intimate for me as to what this program is about. And needless to say, uh, the fact that we have many sites in California and 30 other states that are doing it. Most importantly is what you as a community, you as a team, you as an organization are doing is having a chance to help people who are facing this option, oftentimes to go to a nursing home. And we're even talking about a non-COVID period um, and leave their family and community surroundings. But instead you offer this incredible option that people can stay in their homes and live in patterns and live with the things they love about them. Uh, when I saw that story about Mrs. Canary with her dog, Daisy, I mean, again, you know, it's not about another antidepressant medication. Uh, for her, kind of the reason to live was so much tied to that. PACE is a program that recognizes this. And typically most institutional structures don't necessarily pay attention to this, but PACE has that flexibility. And so with all that it's about, the team of you who are there, um, who can do things from seeing that you, the person has good light bulbs at home for safety at home, to, to making sure their pet has food. I mean, this is all within your, your house of care that you provide. And I think that um, one of the key things that you indicated that this is revolutionary. Well, revolutionary um, takes a long time to get the outputs of what we're seeing today. I've always seen that this effort is about making sense of a difficult time in people's lives that you really need to have some Buddy to help you coordinate this. We used to, so those of us who are older, remember Dr. Welby as a, a program for, quotes, the family. You know, you've become a community Welby system uh, in, in, in not only the Dr. Welby of, of past, but your name itself is so true to this. So at the heart of this, I just congratulate you for this effort. And if our um, um, uh, legislators are still with us, our, our Senator Gonzalez, as well as our Assemblyman O'Donnell. Conversations are going out on, as we said, the state right now about assuring that there's an option for the way, for the way long-term services and supports are given. Uh, what can complement nursing homes, given the some of the challenges that are, are about very close congregate living? I hope you will support the efforts of what PACE here in Long Beach is doing, but also all the different component parts that make up PACE. So it's the team of people, but it's the flexibility of services. You saw the iPad or the, the pad that is given to every family member. You know, that was ramped up in a matter of three days. So just think of the flexibility pro a program like this can do to make sure that people have a chance to live their life as fully as possible, to have their family members supported, to have what matters continue through the rest of your entire life. This is what you are providing for your community. So thank you for the privilege of being here. Uh, little did I know 40 years ago, um, I would be at your grand opening and I am totally delighted and wish all of us well. Those family members, the participants who will be with you, the team that has come together, the city of Long Beach and your uh, legislators who I hope are very proud of this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for your words of inspiration and for all that you've done and do for our communities. Um, as you were talking, I remember the first time I heard you speak. Um, I attended my first National Pace Association conference in 2005. And um, I was inspired then as I am today for your passion. Thank you. At this time, I would like everyone to sit in your seats and join us for a virtual tour of our LA Coast Pace facility. As soon as the video is over, we will be performing the ribbon cutting ceremony. At Wellbe Health, 
Our program of all-inclusive care for the elderly, PACE for short, provides truly comprehensive care for seniors, enabling them to live more independently in their own homes. We coordinate everything from medical and dental care to physical and occupational therapy. Our programs also provide transportation to appointments, meals, social activities, and assistance with personal care. Our goal now in the pandemic, even before the pandemic started, was to keep people out of institutions. I feel at home and it's my first day. Our home-based model of care brings care directly to seniors in their homes. Participants receive an internet-connected WellBeLink tablet where they check in with doctors and caregivers, enjoy games and activities, and socialize with friends. Now I have it with me all the time. Playing the games, answering, calling back, different people call me. Someone calls me all the time checking on my welfare, and I appreciate that. I really do. When in-person care is needed, it's delivered by a single caregiver in the home whenever possible, helping keep our participants safe. Our team also delivers meals and personal hygiene items, helping our seniors and their families live with peace of mind. To learn more about WellBe Health and our program of all-inclusive care for the elderly, please visit us online at WellBe Health. enjoyed the virtual tour of LA Coast Pace. Before we proceed with the ribbon cutting ceremony, I want to acknowledge the LA Coast Pace team and our Wellbe Health team. Each of you have made today a reality and we're living this dream together. I send you virtual hugs, elbow bumps, and I'm smiling under this mask. We'd also like to acknowledge our architect, Twin Steps, our development partner, Turner, and our general contractor, Gray Construction. We also would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge the guidance and technical assistance from the California Department of Healthcare Services and the, Senator, the Senator, Centers of Medicaid and Medicaid. PACE is a three-way agreement with DHCS and CMS, and we appreciate your collaborative partnership. We mailed everyone who RSVP a little recuerdo, a gift bag to say thank you for sharing our special day with us. We are proud to be a new business in Long Beach. And we support businesses that are open. So with that spirit in mind, five lucky winners will be drawn today and we will email you to a restaurant in Long Beach. At this time, I have special guest team members with me, Dr. Sabrina Vialba, our medical director, and Brenda Way Cochea, our Senator Director. We will now cut the ribbon. It works. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you to our panelists. Thank you to our elected officials. And thank you to our community. Thank you for welcoming us to your home. Thank you. <laughs>